I had been working in a bakery after I graduated from college and I loved the work a lot, but I was kind of um, wanted it to be a little bit more simple. It's very stressful to work in, in bakeries and wake up at three in the morning and all of that. I was thinking about starting a bread project. I was calling it a project at the time, not even a business. And I wanted to just simply make bread, you know, once a week and deliver it to people at their homes. I just had finished school and I just had no idea what I wanted to do. So for a year about, I've been like working on farms in the States and then I'd been in Europe working on farms in England, that one of which was a sourdough wood-fired bakery that I spent like five weeks on right before I came home. But then when I was at the bakery, I was like, this totally works. I want to bake bread, you know, I love this. And so I had emailed my sister at home and I was like, when I get home, I think you want to make sourdough bread and then like deliver it by bike or something. And she was like, oh, too late, because someone's already doing that in Jacksonville. So she sent me the article and I read it and I was like, and they're my age and they're doing this. So that was how I emailed her and I was like, yeah. Constantly throughout this <laughs> process, there have been times of challenge and then all of a sudden from out of left field, a new opportunity comes and Meredith was totally that for me. And we met and it was just an instant connection. So she brought a lot of new energy into it that um, I wouldn't say I was lacking, but I just, you know, I didn't really know where it was going to be going. So I wasn't too stuck on it continuing, I guess, at that time. I love the full cycle of it. Um, I love that it's like not an industrial process, you know, we're doing things like traditions that are something we would have done before the Industrial Revolution, the way people originally were eating bread in Western Europe um, with sourdough starter, which is like, doesn't appeal to me. And I imagine Sarah would say the same thing. It doesn't appeal to us to do bread another way. It's just really fascinating and interesting to create such a beautiful um, product out of the most simple ingredients. So for me that was um, that was really intriguing um, because it, I mean my life kind of now and at the time when I started this was about you know trying to um, trying to make meaningful things out of <laughs> simple ingredients. So, um, so it just made sense in a lot of ways. Beautifully scored hearth baked bread is so beautiful. Um, and so it's awesome to constantly be working towards making a beautiful loaf. And like even when we do a bake that's gorgeous, then we have an idea for how to do it different next. Um, and working for ourselves, we get, to we get to constantly determine how we want it to look and how we want to change it. So even though it feels like we're doing the same process all the time, there are always like a million ways to mess it up or make it better. There's nothing more satisfying than when the bread comes out of the oven and it's just the most beautiful sculpture <laughs> I've ever seen. Um, and people often say it's like, uh, it's almost too pretty to eat, but not quite. <laughs> A huge amount of people I've become friends with since moving back to Jacksonville um, and not having lived here since I was like 18. I've gotten these friends because I bake bread and because I've found a place in the community, you know? Um, and we joke that people call us the bread girls, but it's like, it gives us a definition and then they can identify what we create and like the fact that we're involved and we're making something we want them to enjoy and it's great to have people around us who appreciate what we do and are doing things along the same line and we all feel like we're sort of like moving forward together and like there is a space for us to have a local food community you know. Bread feels like a way of kind of making our own place in the community and and being incredibly involved with people who are doing other things. I mean, Jacksonville is a wonderful place to be involved in, in a community which is small but growing, and I'm always meeting new people at markets that we go to who are you know, full of questions and kind of didn't even really realize that there's a community of people who are um, creating local foods and products already in Jacksonville. So yeah, it just feels incredibly invigorating to be a part of that growing movement. Thank you.